the winter episode of Kinetic Crystal. Today, we are gonna make science snowflakes. Well, really, we're gonna make snowflakes with crystals on them, Woo! using science. I'm so excited, and I hope you are excited and ready to learn. And oh yeah, I'm an actual scientist. In a scientific theory, kinetic crystal, kinetic crystal, kinetic crystal. For today's experiment, you're going to need borax, which again, if you did um, the bouncy ball episode, you'll see that uh, this is what we needed. You'll find it in the laundry detergent aisle. You'll also need a jar, some water, um, tablespoon to measure, ribbon, pencil, or a craft, like anything to like that fits over your jar, and some pipe cleaners. All right, let's get going. Did I say ribbon? We need ribbon too. <laughs> Today we are making crystal snowflakes. And the way that we're gonna do that is by making a saturated solution with the borax and water. And saturated just means that there's a lot of it. We're gonna put a lot of borax into the water. And the way that works, water is made up of molecules. We're going to boil it, which will cause those molecules to move faster and further away. And because they're moving further away, that's making space for that borax to get dissolved. And we're gonna be able to dissolve a lot more borax than if the water was at its natural room temperature state. And that is how we make a saturated solution. Also, the opposite happens when we freeze water. They get closer together. So that's really cool. So you can make water get close together and you make an ice cube, right? or you can boil it and they move far apart and you can actually add more things. We did something like this with the floating egg. We made a saturated solution with salt and water and made an egg float. That's so cool. With this one, we're making a saturated solution with the borax with boiling water. So you will need adult help with this one. We'll make our crystal, our snowflake. We'll put it in the jar, add that saturated solution. And as the water cools down and the water becomes back to its natural state, it's not moving so much, those particles of borax are gonna to start to settle. And it'll settle on our pipe cleaners and the bottom of the jar, and it'll form crystals. Now this experiment will take some time. In fact, it's best to leave it for 24 hours. But I challenge you to observe your snowflake or whatever shape, icicle, whatever you wanna make every couple of hours. Maybe after four hours, after eight, after 16, and then the next day. And that'll be when our crystal will be ready to be taken out and dried and then you can hang it on your Christmas tree. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna make our snowflake. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is your pipe cleaners. And you need to decide what color snowflake you wanna make. And I think I'm gonna do this light pink snowflake. So I think you're gonna need two. Now we're gonna take one and cut it into three. So I'm gonna just eyeball it, you know. Okay, well, I didn't do too well, did I? <laughs> All right, and now we're going to twist them in the middle. That's the base, make it look like a snowflake. Now, we're going to take your other one and cut six, about one, one and a half inches areas. So I'm gonna just, like I said, eyeball it. Six of them, one, two. And we're just gonna make little, I don't know, twist it on and it's just gonna make a prettier snowflake right and just shape it however you want because this is just gonna be your, your crystals are gonna form on this I thought about doing like a Christmas tree you can do anything you want it's your experiment the important thing is to make sure it fits in the jar so mine doesn't really fit because if it touches the edges it's the crystals are going to make it larger and it's going to be hard to to pull back out so i'm going to just kind of maybe i'll make this shorter okay so i made it a little smaller <laughs> all snowflakes are unique we're going to now get some ribbon and tie it to the middle now this part is pretty important because we don't want it touching the bottom. So I'm gonna just cut a nice length anyway and go from there. So let's tie it to our snowflake in the middle. Okay, I just made a knot, a simple knot, and I'm gonna trim this little extra. You can see this is all I need. 
So I'm gonna wrap all of this on my uh, pencil. Okay, now, this is where it gets a little tricky. You're gonna need adult help. I first filled up my jar with water and then poured it into a measuring glass so I know how much water it takes to fill this because it's really important. We need to know that amount so we know how much borax to add. To make the saturated solution, we're gonna put three tablespoons of borax into every cup of water. Now my measurement is almost three cups, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and fill it to three. So that means I'm gonna be adding nine tablespoons because three tablespoons, three times three is nine. So I'm gonna add nine tablespoons of borax to my water, boil it, mix it. Okay, so take a little break. We're gonna go do that and then we'll come back and pour it into our jar, okay? Okay, so I have my boiling water. I mean, it just ran off the stove. I mean, be very careful, have an adult. First thing we're gonna do is fill up our jar with the water. Be careful because that is very hot. Hang our snowflake inside and we don't want it to touch bottom and that looks good. So you don't want it touching anything, the bottom, the sides. And now you're gonna place this somewhere um, for it to sit for 24 hours. You don't want it to move, you don't wanna move it. Um, don't touch it when you come and check on it. Just observe, okay? And let's see what, ha what it looks like in 24 hours. Oh, I'm excited. Let's wait. Okay, so it's been a little over 24 hours. It's actually been almost 26 hours. I wasn't seeing any crystals forming when I got up this morning because I think my apartment's just been a little warm. So the water is cooling off slower than maybe it would if it was really cold, <laughs> but it's not. And I am so shocked to see how many crystals have grown, like even in just the last two to four hours. So the longer you leave it, I think you're gonna have more and more crystals. So that's something for you to try. Let it sit for 24 hours, or maybe an extra two, four, six, I guess as long as you want, and see what happens. Eventually, all of the borax that had been mixed in will settle. That is oversaturated, right? So now we're gonna pull it out. Look! Isn't that amazing? It even formed a little bit on our string. So now all you're gonna do is lay it out to dry and then you can tie your ribbon into a loop and you'll have your ornament or your Christmas tree or even hanging it in the window so it catches the sun. Make as many as you want. You can have a whole Christmas tree covered in these. You can point it to other people when they come over and you'll be like, look, I made that. And they'll be like, how? You think it was science and the help of Kinetic Crystal. <laughs> Well, I hope you have fun today. I hope you were patient enough to see the crystals forming. Don't doubt it, it'll happen, because I know I was worried that I messed up, but it worked. All right, have a great holidays. Merry Christmas.